Uncle Tim's. It's all good. Hey, I just want to give you a quick video tour of my piglet cage. So this is so that I can transport piglets. If I need to move them somewhere or if somebody comes to, to buy some piglets, I can go catch them, load them up in this, and then transport them over to their vehicle without too much fuss. So this is just sitting on that cart. It's not attached to it. Um, it's just sitting up there to be able to roll. And then that way if I need to haul some piglets somewhere, I can roll this over to my truck or trailer and load it onto there. Just pull it right off of that cart. So it's four feet long and two feet wide. And it's got an expanded metal bottom with some braces across. And then an expanded metal lid and then the sides are made from hog panels and I cut the top row off so instead of being 34 inches tall they're only 28 inches tall or right or right around 28 inches whatever that works out to if you cut the top row off anyhow so I welded some hinges on this lid here and then I Put a ring on the front for a handle. Right, there's the handle. Be able to open it up. And then it's it's big enough I should be able to fit at least four four big piglets easily in there. At the very least four piglets. It, it'll hold actually a lot more than that, but so I just welded up this frame. This is three quarter inch by one eighth inch angle iron. It's not real pretty, but it's just for piglets, so it'll do the trick. And it's plenty heavy duty enough. They're not going to be getting out of there or tearing it up by any means. And then you can see I put the angle iron across the bottom for braces to help hold that floor up because that floor is not real heavy duty expanded metal and it's the small expanded metal and not the big I think it's half it's not the half inch expanded metal as that would that's too big and the piglets their little hooves would get caught in that stuff and this is so this is the smaller stuff and it's the flat you can see it's flat expanded metal not the raised Anyhow, so if you go to buy, go to build something like this, if you have a steel supplier in your area, that's your best bet for getting your steel. You can get this three-quarter angle iron at Home Depot or Lowe's, but you'll pay almost four times the price for it than if you could find a steel supplier in your place and buy it that way. So at Home Depot in my area, it was almost $13 for a four-foot piece. And at the steel supply place, I bought two four-foot pieces and six, let's see, yeah, six two-foot pieces. So two four-foot pieces and six two-foot pieces, and they cut it for me, and it was $18.00. So that's 12 feet, eight, 20 feet. That's a whole stick for $18. So a 20 foot stick of this for $18. And if I'd have bought it at Home Depot, that would have cost me over $60 for that same amount of steel. So if you can find a steel supplier in your area, it's definitely worth doing that. But if you can't, you can get all this metal at Home Depot or Lowe's or even Tractor Supply has it. And Tractor Supply's prices are about the same as Home Depot. Anyhow, so that's my little pig transport cage. Just go catch the piglets, set them down in there, and then I can move them around because the way I have where I have my piglets, it's not really vehicle accessible. So this way I can just put them in the catch pin, put them in here, and then move them where I need to move them. And we're going to get a <clears throat> try this out here in a couple of days because I have four piglet, piglets that need to be castrated. 
and I don't want to do it with the mothers around so I'm going to go ahead and load those four piglets up in here and then I'll drive around to another part of the property and go ahead and castrate them and bring them back and that way there'll be much less commotion here with the mothers and all the other little piglets so here's my catch pin for catching my piglets it's a pretty big pin I've been putting food in here for them they've been coming in not when I call them but they've been coming in to feed so I'm hoping tomorrow when it comes time to catch them we gotta catch some of the males to get them castrated they're old enough that I'll be able to get them in here pretty sure we'll be able to get them in I guess we'll find out but so I put this up so the big pigs couldn't get in here it's just high enough for the little pigs to get in but you can see it's all bent up there at the bottom the big pigs have been kind of forcing their way in so I had to put that t-post in the middle to help hold it down and hopefully that'll keep the big pigs out but got it all set up here ready to go and then eventually if I have to take a full-size pig out I can back right up between those two posts there and open up a little gate put a little gateway in there using these spiral connectors and you know back a trailer right up to that gate and be able to run a, a big pig right up in the trailer So tomorrow we'll find out if it's going to work to get these four older males caught and then we'll load them up in that cart that I was showing you and see what happens. Hey there. So this is one day after having castrated Bossy's pigs. She had three males some reason I was thinking four but castrated them yesterday and of course in all the commotion I forgot to video everything but they're all doing good There's one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven eight so all Eight of her pigs, there's a couple over there. There's one of the males right there. There's another male. A little bit of swelling, but no bleeding. There's a male down there. I don't know, that's a female. Anyhow, didn't have any problems or complications so far. Went ahead and castrated them and then put some iodine on it. And like I said, no excessive bleeding and they're all getting around just fine today nobody looks like they're feeling bad or hurting or anything there's two of the males right there anyhow everything went good they're all doing okay all these little red pigs we've got two of them with injured legs they're looking a little puny just because they can't quite keep up with everybody else Other than that, everybody's doing good. And uh, like I said, I forgot to video in all the commotion yesterday. Forgot to video me using my new piglet pin. That worked great. Able to just pick the piglets up, set them down in there, and then take that pin and put it in the back of my truck. That worked really good. So in two weeks when I castrate these other little males, all the red males, I'll try to remember to get that on video. There's eight of them. Eight of the red males that I'll have to castrate. So try to catch that on video, show the little pig piglet cage how well that works, and then show you how to castrate piglets if you've never seen it done. Anyhow. Alright, thanks for stopping by, and see you next time. Bye.